But that's a big thing to do, just go in the back. Yeah, it's like they'll send you back. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 I'm not in Madison. I'm still going to stay with the kids and stuff, but that's why you have to see how I'm trying to get stuff. Good job. Slow torture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to get on Thank you. This is Steve Wisconsin versus Gerald Brooks, case 20 CF 2550. Appearances? State appears by Jacob Corbett. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Attorney Robert Hampton appears with Attorney William Bergstraw with Mr. Brooks. Good uh, afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Um, we are on the calendar today for a status hearing. Um, Mr. Brooks' case was last in court on November 17th for a uh, pretrial hearing. At one point, we did have a December 12th trial date in the matter. Uh, that was postponed to give the parties, uh, I think the state needed some additional time at that point. Um, so we were set for status. I did have a conversation with uh, the lawyers and chambers before we went on the record today. My understanding of the party's positions is that at this point, there's not a resolution in this matter, but there's also not been uh, a decision by either party that this can't be resolved, and that uh, Mr. Cord needed to uh, conduct some additional follow-up and um, would then confirm an offer to um, Mr. Brooks and his counsel, and then Mr. Brooks could decide whether he wished to accept that. Um, we also did discuss that uh, at some point Mr. Brooks may be making a request to proceed pro se on this matter, um, but I, I think the discussion we had was that we would hold off on that um, and set a, a scheduling status date to see if the parties can reach a resolution, and then if they can't, the court would need to address that uh, um, issue as to representation. Does that accurately capture what we talked about, Mr. Corr? Yes. Um, Mr. Hampton? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, and is that acceptable to Mr. Brooks today? Uh, yes, sir. All right. So um, my thought would be we'll go out about 30 days, and at that point, if, if the parties are able to reach a resolution, great. If not, we'll put this back on the trial calendar, and then we'll have a discussion as to representation. March 23rd at 1.30. Which for me. At 1.30? Yes, it's 1.30. One second. second. That's fine for the state. Hold on one second. I'm already here. Well, no, no, I'm here early, early, and later that day, but 1.30 is fine, yeah. All right. The next hearing is scheduled for March 7, March 23rd at 1.30 for a status conference. That hearing will be held in person in room 113 of the safety building. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Corey. Anything else we need to address today? Yes, thank you. Mr. Hampton? Nothing, Your Honor. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Brooks. I'll tell you what I tell everybody who lives here. Stay safe and try and make good decisions. You too, Your Honor. Thank, thank you. you.
Okay. Good to see you again. <laughs> Or whatever the hot is, the exact same thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. See you a second over there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And Mr. Hampton, I think you have another one, right? Is that through today? I'm going to hold down a second. I'm going to open my calendar and figure out which is today. <laughs> um, I think you have Mr. Pardo. Great. And off record, Mr. Rakestar, are you going to be continuing or are you? No. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.